Hello, I thought I'd do a uh, video about my recent experiences with Virgin Media. Um, horrific is one word. I'd like to describe it as, it wasn't just simple one experience, it was several over weeks. Right, short end of the story in a sense is um, I contacted them to see what options there were simply because I had a bad experience with um, now sports, low frame rate, watching Formula One, it was very choppy and it was it hurt my eyes uh, turns out it's 720p and I'd have to pay more for 1080 when it should be 1080 minimum really and 4k should be uh, the extra thing so I was so I was like well what am I paying 30 30 odd pound for so I, I said I was gonna look at options so I did I went to Virgin and said right okay I've got internet with you what can you offer I had I was paying 60 two pound a month for gigabit with pods and stuff good Wi-Fi um, and it does drop out now and again needs a reboot but when it works it works um, so yeah I, I contacted them I was given a uh, an offer of a bundle which included a O2 sim um, you know there yeah. Or two sim, um, so yeah, so um, I was um, so this they said it came with two boxes, phone line, but I don't use the phone line; it won't ever get used. So two boxes comes with Sky Movies, Sky Sports, 4K, uh, comes with Netflix, um, and I was like, well, it needs to be Netflix Premium. I've got kids and they need to watch it in multiple rooms. First they said no, and then they were like, oh yeah, it's Netflix Premium. Uh, this was Matthew I was speaking to, by the way, on on, on the Wednesday. So, um, um, let's let's see when that was. Right, so it was 12th, was the Tuesday. So it would have been, uh, I think it was the 6th then, the, the 6th of uh, July. Uh, I made that call, I, I believe. So, um, yeah, I um, eventually I, I agreed. I was like, right, it's going to save me money. I can cancel a sim. I get one. I can cancel the Netflix premium, which saves me money. I can cancel the Now Sports, save me money. And that'll justify paying more to Virgin, but still saving money. Because I'm canceling all of these things. And it's gonna see me money. So I was like, yeah, I'm getting more for less. So I was like, yeah, good. Because I get this guy movies and stuff, and I get 4K. So I was like, yeah, okay. And I get all the channels as well. Um, and retain in the inn, of course. So um, I agreed, but then the line dropped. Uh, it was a very good call. Nothing bad to say about it, really. Uh, he said it was it was down as premium. I believed him. Um, anyway, it, 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 the call died at the terms and conditions. He never called me back. Problem started after this. I waited for a call back, never got one. Um, so I waited a, a bit of time and then called back, went through to sales, asking to be transferred to Matthew. Um, this call centre wasn't based in England. It was somewhere else. Uh, I could hear the background as well. Very noisy. Um, and this was the sales department and they said oh they, 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 they didn't oh, well they were basically um, they were saying I can't transfer your call but I can look into the deal I was like right okay and they seemed very insistent on that like the, they wanted the seal they wanted the seal they were, they were pushing me so they, they, they looked they clicked about and I was like I'd much rather speak to him can you send him a message no we can't do that well, what we, we can give you this we can give you you know I kept on pushing us so I was like right okay whatever he didn't call me back so they can get the seal fine then they were saying it was going to cost £15 more I was like, no, this, I just want what he was giving me. He was like, oh, we don't have access to that one. Well, he's the sales department as well. How can your not sales department have the same thing? Oh, sorry, it'll cost you 15 pounds more, 15, 20 pounds more. I was like, no, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll just wait to see if I get a call back tomorrow, like the Thursday or something. So I waited, no call back Thursday, didn't get a call back on Friday up until lunchtime. So I called and I went through to retentions because I know personally they have more permissions um, as part of retentions, they have more permissions. So I went through, and again, the call centre wasn't based in England. Um, not as noisy though. I told them what the agreed contract was, the price, 
this is when everything really goes wrong and um, he was like yes 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 went through terms and conditions everything was all in place I confirmed it was Netflix premium because I required it um, confirmed everything else no problem so yeah he brings me back he told me he needs to uh, book the engineer so he ring me back and he rang me, rang us back like an hour or two later booked the engineer um, for a Tuesday I wanted a Monday or Tuesday he booked it for a Tuesday I was like fine no problem which was the 26th right last week so I was like right okay half an hour later after the call I noticed I had an email from Virgin Media with what I had what I'm getting and I seen Netflix standard I went no 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 needs to be Netflix premium so I got in contact with them over a message and um, and they said it wasn't available I was like well I want to put a complaint in that they transferred me to retentions or something within the chat and then they said it was gonna cost more five pound more I went no 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 we, this was agreed okay we agreed the price okay please listen to the calls I want to put a complaint in listen to the calls this was agreed and it's not the first time this has happened a couple of times in, in, in the last like six years seven years this has happened a couple of times where I've had to say listen to the calls on what was actually discussed and offered you know prices have changed and stuff or it's this price for 18 months yeah happy with that and then after three months it gans up I mean no nah, listen to the call I, I specifically said is this this price for 18 months and I've said yes anyway so I went listen to the calls so they load the complaint, so they can't listen to the calls, but they load the complaint for the calls to be listened to. I'll say, right, okay, no problem. Anyway, a few days go by, I'm ringing up and I'm like trying to get a resolution. I speak to one person, again, call center is not based in the UK, very noise in the background. Uh, this was retentions. And um, she basically said, oh, we've responded to the complaint. Like, no, you haven't, you haven't responded to the complaint. So check your email. I have, I've not received anything. But I checked, just in case. And I hadn't, I didn't. And they were like, oh yeah, it was on the 12th or something. I'm sure she said the 12th. And I looked and I was like, yeah, that was a confirmation of the, the, the complaint going in. You know, um, like, you know, it was a confirmation of, 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 of that and I've not had a, I wasn't actual response. Anyway, I kept on seeing facts and comments about certain things and she, her reply kept on, yes, but, yes, but. You know, oh, the weather's nice. Yes, but it's like it was like argument. Yes, I heard you, but it was like an argument. And eventually, I said, "Look, stop saying yes, but after everything I've seen, because it's like you're arguing. You've got something to say against it. Stop saying that because it's like you're arguing with the person." I work in a call center. I have been a mentor before, right? And I've, I do the old bit of training with uh, new staff from my current role, right? So don't say yes, but she did. She stopped. Anyway, um, um, I said, well, "Why is it so difficult on just just to get a, like a to get something ag agreed when you get getting something agreed to actually have it in place? Why is it so difficult? You know, I, I ring up and see you've made a mistake, put it right. Why is it so difficult?" And um, I, I, at one point, I said, "You know, I could I could just cancel all of this right now. You know, I'm in two minds whether to do it, and I was." Still am. Um, I don't know how I'm still am, uh, to be perfectly honest. But I was like, you know, I can cancel right now. She said, no, I can't cancel. I was like, yeah, I can cancel. No, you have to wait until, until it's installed before you can cancel. I went, no, that's not right. And yes, but probably. I can't remember. I was like, well, I can transfer you cancellations team. I'm not going to do the accent, but you can imagine there's, a, there's an accent. I can transfer you to da um, um, the, the disconnections team. It was almost like, I, I transfer you to them so you can argue with them. You know, and I was just like, no, I'm, I'm you know, I don't want to have a discussion with them. I'm telling you, that is incorrect. I can cancel right now. I don't have to wait to be installed before the 14 days become active, right? I can cancel now. So don't, don't transfer me call. I'm here to try and get a resolution in the complaint. Okay, I'll deal with the complaint. Anyway, I expect to be put on hold. I'm not. I'm, I'm not muted either. So I hear this in the background. Typing away, typing away. I'm like, she's meant to be listening to calls. But I'm like, okay, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. See what you're doing. Maybe it's just put a different headset on. I don't know. Different. I, I don't know what she's doing. I've dealt with the complaint. I was like, right, okay. 
Okay. Um, if you check emails, I say, right, well, can you just tell me? Well, I've I've looked into the complaint and um, I've I've I've, lo I've looked into the complaint and and, and the notes and um, if you can check your email. I went, no, that wasn't that wasn't like the the, the request. I'm, I'm asking what is the result? I'm here, you're here. Come on, let's do this. Um, and and she says, oh well, the complaint was um, about that the the package um, you want uh, Netflix Premium. Um, um, but unfortunately it's not available on this package and I was like that's not the complaint though I've asked the calls to be listened to because it was offered, it was requested it was offered, it was missold I've asked for the calls to be listened to and, and by the sounds of it you haven't listened to the calls and you've completely missed the complaint and, and at one point she says well you've refused to be transferred I went no, I refuse to be transferred to um, cancellations about when you were seeing something completely incorrect. I said, I've never actually said, do not transfer me through to anybody else. And I said, I barely got the sentence out. If you need to transfer me to another, to somebody else or another department, then feel free to do it. I just want a resolution for this. Okay, I transfer you. Transferred. Customer care team, like that. Anyway, she says, I can't deal with this. It needs to be retention. So I got transferred back to retentions. Spoke to retentions, um, spoke to somebody, explained about all of the, the issues. Um, she said she would look into it and call me back in a couple of hours. She did, when she rang me back. She said that she's looked into it. I don't know if she listened to the calls. I honestly don't know, but um, basically it was down as premium. I was like, ah, oh, okay, good. Oh, now it's down as premium. All right, now it's down as premium. I'm like, right, okay, cool, thank you. Can I have that in writing? And when I and, and I clarified, I went well. When I say writing, just an email will do, just in case. So I requested that, and she was like, "Yeah, no problem." Right, right, good stuff. Right. So um, yeah, I I we're at the end of the call, and I'm waiting for an email. I don't get one. The next day comes, I don't have an email. So I ring back and say, "Look, I'm just going through your attentions." I was like, "Right, is this down as standard or, or premium?" And I said, "Standard." I was like. I was told premium. Right, put me to a customer care team now. Put me to a customer care team. Again, they say they can't deal with it. It needs to be retention. So they transfer me to retentions. And then I speak to a woman. Um, um, English, English wasn't her first language, but uh, her English was better and it wasn't noisy. So um, she might be in a UK based call centre, but English wasn't her first language. But uh, she seemed okay. But straight out of the bat she was, she was saying oh it is down as premium it is down premium oh, right okay oh, oh fair enough fair enough the previous guy must have been wrong can i see same, same thing can i have this in writing oh yes i'm just checking a few things i'm waiting i've been patient oh this is down as this is down as standard it's not it's not um uh, premium i went well you, you've said it was premium now we've seen it standard so like, yeah i'm like well what, what what's going on and she's like oh it's it's down the standard and i was like oh for god's sake man how long is this gonna go on man and um uh, and she, she tries to deflect and she says oh by the way you do get um disney plus free for either she says 12 months or a year i can't remember probably 12 months she said but it was basically yeah right i was like oh okay well that's the first time that's been mentioned she didn't she didn't give me any details about it, but I was like, that's the first time I've been mentioned. I was half thinking, ah, this is just bullshit. I'm, it's not. Um, this is the first time it's been mentioned. So I was like, nah, it's, it's, this is not true. So anyway, um, I was like, right, okay, then we'll keep the keep the complaint open because the you know the complaint is, has hasn't been resolved. I haven't agreed a resolution. Oh, to just add that that the one who transferred me through, she closed the complaint. You know, when when she said, oh, I was complaining about the wrong package and. It's not available. She closed the complaint. I'm like, that's not the complaint is not resolved. I have not agreed close yet. That is not a resolution on advising me about something else. Anyway, so um, I went right. Complaint stands. Keep keep it in. She was like, yeah, I have escalated this with internal management uh, or senior management. One of them, can't remember. Um, you'll probably hear back by the end of the week. That was the three weeks ago. Still haven't heard anything left uh, since. Anyway, so I win uh, 26th, the install date. I don't get any texts, no emails, nothing. I'm like, I can't remember when he was meant to be turning up. So I ring up, I'm like, when's, when's he turning up? No one is turning up. I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, there's nobody turning up, it's live. 
no, it's not live. It hasn't been installed yet. I don't have the TVs. It's just down as completed. Are you sure you don't have the equipment? And it's, it's like I wouldn't be ringing up asking where the equipment is, where the engineer is, um, if um, if if I had it. I wouldn't be chasing up if I ha if I had it. I didn't fall asleep and and suddenly forget. I didn't see them come in and do the work. I'm you know, like a friggin' fairy or something. It's like seriously. And um, the, the the guy looked and, and just and, and um, this guy was 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 English and he, he was pulling up punches. He was like, oh, this guy has really screwed up the order. He's just completed it and hasn't bothered in doing anything. And what what he said is right. I'm going to book the hardware to go out as a self install, and then I'm going to get an engineer booked for the Saturday. Sorry, he said Friday initially, right? And I said, no, can we just put it in for Saturday? Because Saturday I'll be here, and just in case. So equipment is going to arrive on Thursday. My wife would be here to accept the delivery. Right, okay. Can we just push the engineer for Saturday? Yeah, okay. So that was all done. Uh, and he says, you're going to get a couple of emails. Just ignore them. You had to resubmit the order or something. So again, you ha you're having, you have got, I've got a couple of them, a couple of texts to sign contracts, which I could just basically ignore. You know, Anyway, so Thursday comes, no delivery. Thursday afternoon, going into Thursday evening, no delivery. So I'm on the chat. This will get delivered. This will get delivered today. This will get delivered. It will get delivered. You can track it um, by logging on Virgin Media. No, no, it has no tracking information. Oh, so, sorry, on the previous night, on the, on the, on the Wednesday, I got two texts from Virgin. Uh, one saying your equipment's on the way. The other one is you, tomorrow you will be uh, text from Yordle with a two hour time slot. If you're not in, they'll leave a card for you to rearrange uh, delivery. So, right, okay. Anyway, no text, nothing, nothing next day. Absolutely no email, no. So I'm like, I'm, I'm on that message, I'm ringing them up, and then like, it's, it's getting delivered, it's getting delivered, it's getting delivered. I'm like, right, okay. Up to, hot, up to six o'clock, right? That's, that's what it says when you go online. It's delivery up till six. And I'm like, wait, well, it's getting an hour. It will get delivered. I'm like, well, I've got, I'm not getting a two hour slot and it's about an hour left. It's not gonna get delivered. It will, it will. I'm like, it's not. I finish work, I get straight on the phone. I'm on hold for a while, about half an hour or so. It was just after six, I got connected. And I'm like, well, it hasn't arrived. And it's past six. And um, then, then, then they said there was no equipment on the way. There, there's nothing on the way. I'm like, well, what, eh, what, what, what's going on? Anyway, the the the, the, the guy messes messes me about a bit. Uh, eventually, I get through uh, after. Um, <laughs> he, he kept on saying, "Oh, just go on the Virgin Media page and track it." I'm like, well, you know, it says six o'clock, and it, we're, we're now half six. Like, what's what's going on? And. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, well, sorry, I can't jump in a DeLorean. Do you know what I mean? It's like, this is in the past. It's seen as being delivered in the past. We're now the present or the future, and it's not here. My And he was like, oh, I, um, I went, can you organize equipment to be delivered? No, I can't. Like, So you can't do it. Well, in, in this circumstance, no. I went, in this circumstance? He's like, no, I can't, I can't in this circumstance. In other circumstances, I can't. I'm like, what, what's, what circumstance? I don't have the equipment. I need the equipment. That that would be a circumstance for you to order and get a shipment on the way because he was seeing nothing was on. Um, oh, sorry, it, it was on its way, and I'm like, right, well, can you can you chase it? Can you reorder it? Can you do something? No, I can't do any of that. And he just lacked permissions. Anyway, he got uh, on the phone to um, or or a message to somebody who checked and said, you know, oh, there's nothing on the way. So right, manager, I want to speak to a manager. Oh, I can put a request in, but they're all in meetings, and uh, best thing, put a complaint in. So I was like, right, I put a complaint in, fine, fine. Get a call back in about half an hour later from Lee. Lee was, was good, he was nice. Um, he said straight out the bat, is if I had all of the problems that you had, I don't think I'll be able to stay calm. He, he was like, you're being quite calm here and being reasonable. I went, look, I work in a call centre, I work technical support. I know how it goes, you know what I mean? But I'm being messed around here, I want to get a sword. And um, he was able to track it, um, and whilst I was explaining my tale of war, um, he was on the e-chat with Yordle tracking the package, and it said it was it was delayed, and it was basically it was going to be possibly getting delivered the same day, uh, up until nine o'clock. If not, it will be tomorrow. 
so he said oh can I give them the mobile number so they can like text you or email uh, uh, send you a message or something or, or ring you I said, yeah yeah fine use my, my, my phone number no problem um, uh, he was like right it's getting installed on Saturday the equipment either be here tonight or tomorrow um, for the inconvenience and all that uh, first it was 40 then it increased to 50 I got a 50 pound like credit on my account so right okay okay no problem anyway next day no equipment so I'm ringing up I'm ringing up well, where's the equipment where's the equipment what's going on with the equipment some people are saying there's no equipment I'm like right what's going on can you track it we can't track it well your managers were able to track it I contacted Yodel they can't couldn't find anything with my address what's the tracking number I don't have it Virgin what's the tracking we don't have it but we'll get a manager to get it and then provide it to me so I can chase it I'm, I'm, I had argumented with people saying I can't I can't send a message to Lee or I can you can't get a message to Lee no like I'll message a manager to message him it's like right okay um, I, had, I had people argue I literally just went look I'm sure you can say at first it was like I can't do it we don't have the facility of doing it when it's a 21st century right I work in a very similar organization um, you know and I can send messages to pretty much anybody well everybody this is not the same industry oh, what what industry is that like argumentative and this this person was English so she sounded um, she sounded older than me what uh, industry is that was uh, well I, I work in IT support within the business who do lease lines do virtual machines cloud infrastructure that's not the same uh, organization kind of is they offer services out people serve people pay for services the services are installed or things are provisioned and if it breaks they go through technical support and if they want to cancel go through the accounts and billing and and stuff like that you know what I mean like it is pretty similar it's not like comparing McDonald's to to them you know you're, you're like like a, like a food restaurant to to no it it is a, no it's not the same one she was rude she was just rude she was like she was gonna send a message to a manager I was like right okay then thank you bye right I just wanted to away with that conversation anyway rang up again uh, next 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 person English again um, um, he said he would uh, pass a message off um, oh sorry he, he, was, he was typing he sent a message to Lee he was responding back and the line dropped he never called me back so I was like right okay uh, call back again spoke to somebody English again said that somebody was messaging him and he was responding he went all oh, right okay well I'll just have to send a message off asking for a call back so I'm like right okay no call back I'm just to bring up so I ring back again go through retentions again uh, go through a non non English call centre right and this person French accent um, didn't understand a lot of the things I was saying like and um, after requesting to speak to a manager for about 50 minutes eventually uh, well, I'm waiting because apparently they were on uh, on, a, on a call or something um, she then tells me there is no engineer booked and no equipment this is this is on the Friday um, there was no engineer booked and there was no equipment on her way on its way which I've been told previously as well so I was like right are you sure of that because I've been told differently we're sure nothing is going out right right manager i want to speak to a manager i need to speak to somebody who can make decisions there's no one available and then she was trying to put me in the same department as lee I was like, so you're transferring me no no i'm not i can put you through to his i think it was quick start team and lee was is the manager of that i went fine just transfer me through if your manager's just not going to take the call Anyway, transfers me through. I'm on hold. I'm on hold. The line disconnects. Keep kept going silent. Come back on hold. Doing that, and then it just goes. So I was like, oh, you know what? It was, it was about an hour and twenty minutes on the phone. So that that was a Friday evening. I gave up. Next morning, Saturday, I ring up. I speak to somebody English. Can't remember her name. Very nice person. Again, we're seeing the same things as I, if half things happened. I don't think I'd be able to. Uh, be as calm as you um I was like, yeah fair enough and um yeah she confirmed no equipment no engineer was was looking at she had money she had a manager's manager looking into it and they basically said look we cannot do this 
we cannot do this uh, and get the equipment out. And I was like, look, I'm just after you to fulfill the bloody contract. Send me the fucking equipment or send the engineer with the equipment like you used to. Why is this so fucking difficult? So I'm swearing. Um, but I was like, I was just like, look, like, I need somebody who can make decisions. In the end, what they've done is they've logged it as a fault. A fault and get an engineer out. Um, the first available date was this Wednesday, which I said I was unavailable. The next date after that, including the weekend, is Monday. Is this coming Monday? And yeah, I am still waiting. And that's my experience of Virgin Media. They can't do sales. They can't sell you anything without giving you false inf information. Oh, and it, it turns out, sorry, one thing that Lee said is Lee said that uh, we only offer premium anyway. We don't actually offer standard. I went, well, it is down to standard. He went, yeah, but it's also premium as well. I forgot to put this. On Tuesday morning, the day of the original install, which was meant to be, I got an email to link my Netflix account to Virgin. And then it basically goes, right, standard or premium. So I was like, premium. This is going to charge you £5 extra. I was like, ha, don't think so. My complaint is in. It was, you know, I was pretty cocky. Well, not cocky, but I was confident that I was going to be successful in the complaint whenever it's responded to. Um, so I just click, yes, 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 it's fine. So uh, so when I spoke to Lee, Lee's like, oh, it's, it's down as premium and standard. And um, it's like, oh, we fixed that. I went, no, I've done, the, I've done the premium bit by doing it myself. It seems going to charge me more. He went, it won't. I'm looking on your bill. It, there is no charge for that. I went, even linking the accounts tells me it's going to charge. People have told me it's going to charge. And people have also told me it's not available. It simply isn't available. They only do standard. They don't do premium. And he's like, he says on the website, he went, well, maybe you need to do Undercover Boss and, you know, ring ring your own sales and find out exactly what's being told and he's and uh, he doesn't tell me if he's going to do that or not but you know yeah it's been an absolute mess all of these uh, issues um but um yeah i'm i'm still i'm still waiting for it to be installed i uh, so yeah I, i've I, um they kind of sell you anything they kind of transfer calls they can't boot call requests uh, like with managers and all that they can't book engineers they can't book equipment being sent out to your address um, they can't handle complaints uh, they can't answer simple questions um, so what can they do really what can they do when I got told about the engineer being cancelled I took to Twitter and and um, Virgin said oh you've cancelled it I went I haven't well the only way for it to be cancelled is by you doing it on the Virgin Media website. I went, it never came up on the Virgin Media website. Only the delivery came up on the Virgin Media website. And, oh, this is for an install. Yes, is it being delayed? I went, no one's turned up. No one's booking it in properly. Like, what's going on? You just can't do anything. Anyway, that is like 30 minutes of my rant about how shit Virgin Media is. Okay, There's their call center is shit it absolutely is shit and majority of the the issues seem to be when their call centers where they are um, not UK based right that is not racial or any sort of stereotype that is a simple observation and experience um, of and this has been years there's been times in the past where I've been cut off in a mid sentence, and that's not like a I'm gonna transfer you through. Oh, wait, blah, 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 blah. no, there wasn't a situation like that. That was, oh, this is the situation, blah 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 blah, blah. transferred over. And I was speaking to someone else's voice, and I was like, hello, oh, hello, I'm, uh, you're through to how can I help? I'm, Sorry, I'm confused. I was in the middle of a sentence to one of your colleagues the person I got transferred to was English and she was like I what what has just happened I was like I've just been call transferred directly to you in mid sentence she was like oh my god I'm so sorry then she transferred me to um, 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 
because it was like like customer services should transfer me through and she said, I don't know why they've even transferred her here you need technical I'm like yeah okay and she transferred me technical who then sorted my issue <laughs> but I've had issues in the past where they have which I alluded to before I've, I've, I've chosen a package or a, or, a, or a change to a package and they've said it's going to cost this much and I'm like right this month for the entire length of contract yes it is and then after three months the prices then went up and I, so I ring up and I'm like why is it so high is it my usage no that's your contracted rate like, no it is, it's this oh it's only for three months right listen to the call listen to the call listen to the call and they come back I'm right that's happened a couple of times to be honest I've had changes, I've, I've increased my speed of my internet, and then I've had channels being disconnected. And I'm like, why has that happened? Oh, they've, they've changed the package that you're on. I went, that was never alluded to me. I, I, I changed my speed. I wasn't told I was gonna lose stuff. Um, and they were like, oh, right, well, the only way to get what you've lost is to pay more, even more on top. I went, N no. And they were like, oh, okay, right, we'll give you that and we'll, we'll, give you the, the, the extra couple of pounds it would charge on top of your bill. It's always damage control with these. They really need to review all of their processes. They need to go back to Billy Basics, right? Sales, they need, they need to be all singing from the same hymn sheet, not have different privileges and different orders and that, that, need, that system needs to be um, simplified, right? Customer services sorts out billing issues. Sales needs to be centralized and, and made simpler. Technical support, that needs a bit of a review as well because um, I, I've, I've, I've had technical issues in my estate and the surrounding area. I've had technical issues and I've rang up and they've said there's no reported issues in your area. I went, can you do a test? No. Well, there's, there's an issue, can you do it? There's no reported faults in the area. I'm like, well, I'm reporting a fault in the area. I'm going on Facebook and everyone's kicking off saying the Virgin Internet's down. Or it's really slow speeds. I've had arguments uh, when, I, when I used to use my own like uh, my own my own router, you know. Oh, it's your router. No, it's not. It's not my router. People are all over Facebook saying the same thing in the same street. It's not my router that's causing all of that, and it's all happened at the same time, you know. Oh, it's your equipment. Guess what? None of them times it was my equipment. None of them times. So that needs a review as well. Also retentions and just generally complaints handling, transfers. Also another thing is when you go through security, you ring up and like, oh, we'll need characters from your password. So it verifies you. If you don't, it says, sorry, that doesn't match. Passes you through, so you're verified. It gets through to somebody, like, what's your full name? Are you the account holder? Can I have character, blah, blah, blah. I've, I've been through this. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Every time I've called up in the last couple of weeks, every time I've had to go through security twice, every single time, I understand with a call back, you've got to go through it again. I can understand that, but every time I've rang them, I've had to go through security twice. So Virgin Media, whoever looks at this, if anybody does, it's a long one. Anybody is of management, need to look into my issue Okay, contact me if you want, right? So you can find out my account details, so you can look in depth into this complaint and these complaints and all of these issues, right? But you need to do a serious review because if you're gonna carry on and treat people the way you're treating people like me, you are gonna lose customers or stop customers coming to you because I'm starting to get, I, I, I'm still in two minds whether to cancel. I've had an FTTP upgrade to my street, right? So I could get almost gigabit, I can get 900 meg, right? Um, I could get Sky in if I wanted to, you know you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a loyal customer, I've been a loyal customer for I believe over a decade now, right? But your services over the last, you know, seven eight years your, your, whenever I've had to change something or whenever I've had a technical issue um, or a new contract there has been complaints and I don't mean me just actually having a whinge I'm talking about I've logged
complaint. Every single time. Not because I like complaining. Okay, if it's a little thing, no, I, I, I won't. But if, if it's something like the price has changed, or I've lost something, or they've argued with a technical issue when it is a technical issue and it's nothing to do with me, or I've, I've got, I'm meant to have a callback for a technical issue from a manager who never bothered to, to call back. You know, like all, all these kind of, th or, or like, um, yeah, it is, there's, there's just a load of bloody. Anyway, I have waffled on for 35 minutes. I hope this lands. I hope somebody senior in Virgin Media looks at this and actually um, gets all these managers, all these supervisors of all these departments, or somebody even high up who, who's meant to be in charge of all of this and actually does a full review because it needs to be fully reviewed and it needs to be replaced. Training is needed. Standardization of 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 maybe platforms and and uh, applications, uh, information, and it needs to be good training. And to be honest, you need to be a, a little bit more like EE. EE's customer services are very good, are very very good. You just need to start doing that if you start having good customer services, right? And and phone etiquette and complaint system and and sales and. You know, you know what I mean? Your reputation will be good. But I, I hear from other people, bad reputation, and I've got a bad opinion of Virgin Media. So I'm certainly not going to go out there and say Virgin Media are really good. I'll say their speeds are good when I don't have to reboot it like once or twice a week. It, the speeds are really good. Um, you know, when I use my own router in modern morning mode, put yours in modern morning mode, and I've had to reboot it for months have to do it once or twice a week now um, you know it's yeah anyway but if anybody asks oh who's good I'm like well when it works Virgin Media if you have any issues you have a nightmare on the phones an absolute nightmare anyway um, that is definitely it so thanks for watching likes subscribes if you want uh, uh, this 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 YouTube channel is just generally me having a whinge about things um, you know yeah so uh, hopefully you find this useful hopefully Virgin Media look at this and go wow okay it's out there people can watch it and you know yeah so this was my complete review of um, my recent experience with Virgin Media um, so thanks very much for listening thank you